And welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to customize your origin theme in your e-commerce website for your Shopify. First, we click on Shopify origin theme and then we search it up and then we click on this one. And after you click on it, you're going to click on try this theme and you're going to click on it. And then we have to wait until it downloads. So it's downloading right now. So let's wait into it. Well, so let's just wait until it downloads. And then after you click on it, you're going to click on online store and then you're going to click on themes on the left. And then you're going to go down and then you're going to see the theme library in here and then you're going to see the origin one. And now you got to wait. Uh, while we're waiting, I uh, just want to talk about what the theme means. Theme is the background of uh, your Shopify store and it can increase your sales and it will make it more appealing to customers, which can increase your product purchases. And after it downloads, you're going to click on customize. And after you click on customize, you're going to see this information. And then um, so to customize every single text, you're going to double click it and then you're going to um, type what you want to write it. Um, so let's say I want to change this one, like the title page. I can double click it and then on the left, we're going to see this text box and you can easily edit it uh, for your customers. So we're going to type our store name and you can also change the heading size by clicking here. You can either make it medium large or small or I'm going to make it extra large to make it more appealing to my customers and also I want to talk about how to change the announcement site because most people don't know this but you can click on announcement and then you can easily change it to whatever you want I'm just going to say welcome and you can change the center alignment you can make it on the left but let's make it in center because a lot of people have symmetric um, sickness um, so this is the theme that we will be using and it looks very nice like you can like add products and it has like that actual like origin theme like it's like more appealing to customers rather than using the uh, the original like the actual Shopify given one the Shopify given one is very boring so yeah um, so you're gonna click on this one or no this one so you're gonna click on example product title and then you have to like extract your product and then you can add a description if you want to delete columns you can like double click it and then on the on the bottom you're going to click on delete and you can easily delete it you can also hide things by double clicking it oh no you can hide these but you can hide these yeah so you can hide this so you can hide it like if you have an update you can hide it and then you can get it back you can also move things like you can move it to the next position you can go up you can go down however it's not doing it because there's no text involved so that's that's why but it would have, it will work if you have the actual thing um right now i don't have any products so um i can't really pull anything here but you can easily change the background picture um or anything that you like um you can add the rich text here um so let's click on delete and then here's a testimonial title you can say make our company the greatest the greatest companies start with zero so i want to pursue that you can like add like special text to like um, show your brand awareness and you can build up that brand by creating a good store so theme is like always good for having the um customer base um, and now we're going to talk about the bottom place you can like add pictures you can click on it not this one my bad you can click on this and then on the left you're going to see select image you're going to select image and then you can pull it off uh, from here um, oh wait we need to save it so we're going to click on here and then oh, on the bottom there's a select button and then you can select it and it will make it for you you can like write quotes here to make it more appealing you can like double click it and you can you can like easily change the description and the heading um let me see if i can explain anything else you can change the email sign up that's really easy you can delete things again and now let's go to the catalog oh no not this one oh let's go down i want to show you guys something so when you click on search it will definitely search it for you. However, if you want to like add other things, like um, change it, like remove menu, you can do that. Um, that's really cool. You can also add a footer, like add extra things. You can also add extra things. 
um, go left and add a section. You can like add like slideshows, image banner, collection list, and feature product. You can like add different type of things on the bottom and you can easily like move them by clicking here and like you can move them and it's showing it for you. That's really cool. Um, let me see if I can explain anything else. Oh, you can change the colors. You can change it to this one. Oh, no, not this one. Uh, oh, you can add the apps also. If you have any apps, click on the left and add apps. Um, right now, you can click on media and like add, increase the thickness based on that. So you can do a lot of things and you can click on the desktop version and the mobile. And this is the mobile one, so this is how it looks in the mobile. Mobile. Um, you can click on full screen. And yeah. There's also home page and products. You can click on the top to use it. And so that was basically it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're uploading videos every single day. And also don't forget to save your work. Click on save your work and pu publish it to get it to your customers. And yeah, so that was basically it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please comment what you think about the video. And thank you all so much for watching. And see you guys in the next video. Sorry for the pause, guys. Um, I had to pause. So I want to I wanna talk about the origin theme, which is um, available right now. So make sure to use it. So you can click on customize and um, I want to talk about something briefly that I didn't talk in the video so I'm just going to be adding these. Uh, this is just an additional video. So to add a logo you can also add a logo. So this is very important. Theme settings is very important. Colors is very important. You can change your colors like you can make them all different and it will change it for you guys. So make sure to um, choose a color that fits best with your product. So you got to be very careful about it about it or else you will have some problems with the layout and stuff um there's icons that you can change you can change the text the search behavior is also present here so make sure to uh, do everything correctly and also there's the app section that i want to talk about in like 10 seconds what i want to show you guys something you guys can um, use your custom css um, to make it by the way and also there's the app embeds that you can use um, right now I'm using uh, for a dropshipping extension app so you can also add extensions like you can add like uh, colorful um, product reviews like anything that you want um, and you can also change the mobile and the full version I mean like the full screen version of it and um, guys yeah so you can also use this uh, on the top there's like a place where you can like check out the cart and stuff so you can easily access to them so yeah I just wanted to add these and now let's get back to the real video.